Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Mr. Coffee 12 cup dish washable coffee maker with advanced water filtration. So this coffee maker looks like a 12 cup coffee maker. We got a 12 cup glass craft warming plate. We got a control panel. Up here, this is where we're gonna put the coffee. We can put our ground coffee here. This is where the water goes. We also have a water filter that we can install in this holder. So we can move the brew head out of the way. Now it does come with a reusable filter, but we can also install a paper filter. So we can install an eight to 12 cup basket style filter or this reusable filter. You can never use both at the same time. This has got like a mesh filter system. So if you're gonna put a paper one in here, just kind of put it in like that. The, re the filter basket is removable. It does have that spring plunger on the bottom. Now what makes this coffee maker special is this, you can remove this top portion, move this lever over and we're gonna lift this up we can remove this whole section. So here you're left with two sections. This section you can put in the dishwasher, this section you cannot. This has the electricity in it, the heating element, so you can only just wipe this part down. So now let's talk about this part. So this is meant to come apart where you can take the lid off. Now, the way they take the hinge off, you're just gonna kind of pull it and then that little part's gonna unsnap. So this is that you can put, now we can put this in the dishwasher. I can take the brew basket out I can put this in the dishwasher and now I can put this whole thing in the dishwasher. And I can also lift this up right here and get the, the brew head, I can deep clean this area right here. The brew head arm does not come out. Now this is a nice feature because if you've ever tried to clean a dishwasher or a coffee maker where the water goes and you can get kind of some coffee around here too, this makes it super simple. I can take this over the sink, rinse this all out, get a brush in there and scrub, and I don't have to worry about any water getting down or around the electricity part. Now with this feature, we do have some more, we got like another little check valve here, and so we got a little more moving parts with this. Now if we look down here in the coffee maker side, again, there's a little check valve right here. This has to move out of the way. and So again, you can only just wipe this part off. When you're all done out of the dishwasher, we're simply gonna slide this on. It'll kind of snap into place. Put your brew basket back in. So the brew basket, this handle always goes forward. It's gonna go forward so that the lid can close. Now you're gonna take it over here to the coffee maker and it'll snap into place. Again, wanna remove it, move the unlock, lift it straight up. When you're ready, snap it into place. Okay, let's talk about the water filter. When you get it out of the bag, you're gonna soak it for 10 to 15 minutes, and then take it over to the sink and run it under cold water. There is some carbon dust in here you wanna get out. Okay, so now we're just gonna pop open the holder. You're gonna put the carbon water filter in, snap it closed. Now this is a timer. So you can put the date, those are months. They want you to change this every month. I change mine about every two months. I put the date or the day that I put it in, that way I know, okay, so two months from September. That's when I need to change it. Now you don't have to have the water filter to use this coffee maker. The water filter does help with, if you have chlorine, taste or smell with your coffee, with your water that comes out of your tap. So you're just gonna push it in. It's gonna snap into place like that. Now let's brew ourselves some coffee. I filled mine up to the six mark. I'm only gonna brew six cups of coffee. If you wanna brew the full 12 cups, just put, make sure you put 12 in here. So. Whatever amount of water you put back here, every time you press the brew button, that's what it brews. So mine's gonna be just a little bit past the six mark, but I'll end up with six cups of coffee. If I want 12, I'd fill it up to 12. The minimum is four. Okay, so I'm gonna grind some Just a Dad coffee roast. It's simple sip, and we're gonna grind it in a grinder at a medium grind. So now for every cup you're gonna brew, you're gonna put one tablespoon of coffee in. So if you're gonna brew six cups, six tablespoons of coffee. If you're gonna brew 12, 12, four, four. So let's put our coffee in. We put it right there in the middle of the reusable filter. Okay, I've got my six tablespoons of coffee in there. If you wanna put a little bit more in there, that's fine. Maximum is 14 tablespoons. If you wanna put a little bit less, that's fine too. Okay, so we've got our water and our coffee in. You can move the brew head over, but if you don't, there is a little lever here that's gonna move it over for you. Close the lid. Make sure your craft has the lid on it because that's what's gonna poke up on the plunger to let coffee out. So put this in, and you're simply gonna hit the brew now button. That light's gonna come on to let you know that it's brewing coffee. You're also gonna have an indication that the warming plate is on. Okay, so let's sit back, time it, do some taste tests, and see how this coffee maker does. Okay, so it's just been a little over a minute. There is some coffee coming out. Let's just take a sneak peek. We can see the coffee is 
being brewed. Okay, so the coffee coming out the bottom is about 180, a little hard to do. I've seen about 184. Now the brew temperature of the water coming out of the brew head, I've seen about 190. You can see it's almost done brewing the coffee. Okay, so we're about the six and a half minute mark. It's starting to finish up. It's kind of popping a little bit here. So it's running out of water, but we do have a little bit more coffee to drain into the coffee carafe. Now it is going to beep at us when it's done. The warming plate is gonna stay on four hours. So now once you hear it beep, you've got four hours and then the coffee maker will automatically turn the warming plate off. Okay, so there's a little bit more, but we do have a plunger that's gonna come down and prevent that from spilling. So let's see how the craft pours. Yeah, the Mr. Coffee craft pours really nice. Now be careful, that's a very hot cup of coffee. Let's see just how hot that is. 162. Here's what the coffee looks like. I'm gonna have to add a little bit of cream and sugar. Okay, so let's give this a taste test. Mm, well, that's a hot, nice cup of coffee. So my Just a Dad coffee is kind of a dark roast, medium to dark roast with a smooth, smooth, bold flavor. Okay, so be careful. There will be some steam, but we can see here how the coffee did. So it does have just a little bit more to drain out of the filter basket. So if you don't want to wait the four hours, you, you want to turn the coffee maker off now, just come up here and hit the brew now button. That turns the coffee maker off right now. Now to set the time, it's very easy. There is a display. Anytime you hit the hour or the minute button, that's going to change the current time in your house. Now it does have an AM and a PM. And once it stops flashing, it'll memorize it. So you can program this coffee maker to come on in the morning. You're going to hit the brew later button. Now it's going to say set brew later time. Now we're going to set what time do you want the coffee maker to come on in the morning? I want mine to come on at 5, 10 a.m. Now I can wait for the time to stop flashing and then that'll memorize it. Now that light is on. It's a little dim to see, but that light is on. If that light is on, that means your coffee maker will start in the morning. If you want to cancel it, just hit that button and that will cancel it. The next day you got to come up here, hit it again. Yep, that's the time I want. Let it stop flashing and the light will be set. And just make sure you've got your water put to where you want it and you've got your fresh coffee in here and your craft is empty and you'll be ready to go. Here's what the bottom of the coffee maker looks like. It's 120 volts AC, 900 watts, 60 hertz. Now it is pretty tall. It will not fit, uh, fit under a standard kitchen cabinet. So with the door all the way open, it's right around 20 inches. Kitchen cabinets are about 18 and a half. It does have cord storage. The cord is 24 inches long, front to back 12 inches, left to right about seven inches. Okay, so let's kind of take some things apart and see how it did. Again, there's the brew head. Here's the brew basket. I can simply just take this over. Or I can take the whole brew basket over. Again, when you're using a permanent filter, you will get a little bit of sediment in your coffee. It's not really coffee grounds. It's just a really fine sediment that does come through there. But if you use a paper filter, you don't get any of that sediment whatsoever. Okay, so let's take this apart. See how it did again, just lift straight up. You know, it looks like all of these seals work pretty good. Again, you do have some more parts that are subject to failure, but it looks like they're working good right now. Now, anytime you put this in the dishwasher, you would want to make sure and remove the uh, water filter. Now, I do find sometimes it kind of wants to stick a little bit, and I got to kind of push it down, kind of reposition it sometimes. I do wish it kind of went on there each time really smooth, but it doesn't always do that. So I found the holdup is this pin not going back. There's a little ramp for it to push that pin back, but it might, if you're not getting it to go on, sometimes holding that over all the way, that does seem to help. It would be nice if you could just snap that on without having to hold that, but hold that over to the open and that does seem to help. Be sure and go over and check out my Just A Dad videos group page on Facebook. I'm gonna be doing my free giveaways on there. I got a lot of products to give away. I'll also be doing an update on my coffee. So this is, I'm working on a coffee bag design. It's not gonna be like this, but this was my first batch of coffee that it's gonna be just a dad simple sip coffee. And I'm doing behind the scenes, how we're making the coffee, how we're doing the bag design and all the free giveaway. it out. I would really appreciate any support you could give him. I'm a little on the fence with this coffee maker. Again, it's a standard Mr. Coffee Maker. 
It does retail. It is kind of expensive for what it is. It retails for 75. It, you can find it on sale for 60. I, you know, I think it's a great design. Being able to take that apart, I get. You do get a lot of stuff inside there that you do need to take that over to the sink once in a while, rinse that out. You'll get some hard water deposits back here, and it can be. Coffee makers can be extremely hard to clean when you can't take them apart, you know, because you really don't want to get water down around this control panel. There is a circuit card down there that could short it out. So that is a, it's a good design. I would have liked to seen it latch in there a little bit better, you know, but you probably, you're probably, you're not going to take it apart every single brew. I would, I would probably clean mine once a week, maybe once every couple weeks. But again, you're going to have all the extra like valves and there's a little uh, window that kind of goes across in there and stuff. So you've got some extra parts that are subject to failure. But it does brew a pretty standard Mr. Coffee um, cup of coffee. I did buy this coffee maker with my own money. I will put a link to it under the show description notes to Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. Also, if you could give the video a thumbs up, that really does help my, out my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your support. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.